Good day everyone! How are you? You are now in grade 2. I'm here teacher Lala and I will help and teach you in learning English for grade 2. The lesson is all about classifying sounds. Week 1 in your module, first quarter. Do you hear sounds around you? Is it loud sound or soft sound? There are many types of sounds in the environment. Some are produced by people, animals, mechanical objects, musical instruments, and other things around us. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the sounds heard and classify them as too loud and soft. Listen to the story and answer the questions that follows. The story is titled, Sound Game in the Zoo by Donabel H. Magararo. It's Teresa's much-awaited day. It's her seventh birthday. Her nanay and tatay promised that they would go to Laguna Wildlife Park and Rescue Center, a zoo at La Vista Pansol, Calamba City. As promised by her parents, today the family will visit the Wildlife Park and Rescue Center. To make their visit fun and memorable, they decided to play a game. Teresa would be blindfolded and led by her parents near the animal's cages. She has to identify each animal by listening to the sound it makes. Nanai, Tatai, and blindfolded Teresa approached the first animal. Teresa listened well until she heard this loud sound. <coughs> Teresa exclaimed, It's a horse! It's a horse! She got it right. It was the wildlife park's newly adapted pony named Corona. Nana replaced Teresa's blindfold and they went on the next. The birthday girl listened carefully until she heard this loud sound. Oh, what is that? She asked. I think it's a crocodile. She got it right. It's a caiman crocodile. The sound guessing game continued. Other animal sounds that Teresa guessed right are the following. Soft sound made by a snake. Loud sound by the wild pigs. Gentle sounds from pigeons. A loud sound coming from a cow. Teresa's family had a great day at the wildlife park. It was an unforgettable adventure and a birthday celebration that is worth the wait. Let us have a guessing game just like what Teresa's family did in the story. Listen to the sounds and guess what animals makes that sound. Are you ready? Here's the sound. Can you do the sound? Very good. Which of the animals make that sound? Very good. It's a sound of a snake. Is it soft or loud sound? Yes, the sound of a snake is a soft sound. Next, here's the sound. Can you do the sound? Very good. Which of the animals makes that sound? Very good. Is the sound of a horse. Yes, the sound of a horse is a loud sound. Here's the other sound of an animal. Can you do the sound? Very good. Which of the animals makes that sound? Very good is the sound of a pigeon. Is it soft or loud sound? Yes, the sound of a pigeon is a soft sound. Next, here's the sound.
Can you mimic the sound? Very good. Which of the animals makes that sound? Very good. It's the sound of a crocodile. Is it a soft sound or a loud sound? Yes, the sound of a crocodile is a loud sound. For the last animal, it makes this sound. Which of the animals makes that sound? Very good, it's the sound of a pig. Is it a soft sound or a loud sound? Yes, the sound of a pig is a loud sound. For your first task, look at the animals, mimic the sound produced by each animal, classify each animal according to the sound as to loud sound or soft sound. Write your answers in your notebook. For your next task, read the story and answer the questions that follow. Write your answer in your notebook. For your last task, using the objects below, try to produce sounds by using a fork or spoon. Classify the sounds produced as to soft or loud. Write your answers in your notebook. Remember, there are sounds that we can hear in our environment. And these sounds may be produced in various ways. Some of these are animal sounds. Animal sounds produce distinct sounds. These sounds help us identify the animals producing them. This ends our lesson about classifying sounds. I hope you learn to identify different sounds and differentiate it if it is a loud or a soft sound. Again, I'm Teacher Lala. Till our next lesson in English.